Hello everyone, I am Storm today. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my English channel. So today's tutorial is for Halloween, of course, you can notice that. And I decided to be Storm this year because I love Storm. I think she's an incredible, powerful woman and I love the way she looks, the white hair and everything. So I decided to do a really nice makeup to go with it. And it's definitely a costume that you can create for very low price you can just buy the wig get your little black dress on or jumpsuit and do your makeup beautifully so i decided to create a makeup with like the grayish vibes that goes really well with the white wig so i really hope that you like it and i hope you enjoy it so let's get started i have my foundation on that's the only thing i have on right now and the foundation that i used was my nars sheer glow medium three and before i go on with the skin i'm already gonna do my eyes my brows and then I'll finish the skin with you guys, okay? It's gonna be hard for me to, you know, be filming without my contour on, but it's fine. So my next step is going to be brows. So I'm gonna take my brow bar to go kit and a small angle brush and I'm going to start fill filling it in but making it a bit more arched so it looks more fierce. And I'm gonna take my eye primer by Urban Decay and I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelid. Also on the under eye because we're gonna be blending shadows under the eye. What I'm gonna do first is highlight under the brow and I'm gonna take this shadow kit by MAC. This is a navy times nine. It comes with nine shadows. And I'm gonna take this silvery one and highlight. Next, I'm gonna take a medium brown shadow, a bit more warm, and apply it on the crease using a pencil brush. After I do that, I'm gonna come in and blend in round motion with the blending brush E25 by Sigma. I'm gonna take this light gray here and I'm gonna start creating some depth on the outer corner and also in the inner corner. You see? And now I'm gonna take the dark gray with the same brush and apply it on the outer corner. On top of the, more on the crease now, a little bit more and on the inner corner. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, light gray, but on the bottom eye. And this could be like even a bit messy, you know, to make it more fierce. And then darker gray. And it's gonna look like that. And now I'm gonna take a white pencil. This is Drama Liquid Pencil by Lancome. And I'm gonna apply it on my waterline. And this is super pigmented, which is great for what I want. And I'm also going to apply it on the bottom eye, on the inner corner only. And that creates a dramatic touch. I'm gonna take a synthetic brush and kind of blend that in. Come back and touch up the gray shadow to make sure we don't lose it. And I'm gonna make Storm a bit more fun on the eyes, okay? So I'm gonna take a bluish pigment. This is a Brazilian brand, Volt. Take it with my finger and I'm gonna apply it right on the center. Look at how gorgeous that looks. And this is going to look great with the white wig. And I'm going to apply white eyeliner on the top waterline as well. Okay, and now I'm going to take liquid liner and just line the roots of the lashes. Now I'm going to apply mascara. And now I'm gonna apply the false lashes. I'm gonna use 105 by Ardell. So I'm gonna apply it and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my lashes on. And now I'm gonna come back with the white liner and I'm going to kind of lighten up the ends of the, the brow. And again, just to give it a bit of a dramatic touch. I'm gonna blend a bit more on the brow. All right, very dramatic. 
One thing I forgot to do is mascara on the lower lashes. All right, now that we're done with eyes, I'm gonna finish skin with you guys and I'm going to start by concealing my face and I'm gonna use a yellow concealer, a very light concealer. This is by Criolan. And I'm gonna really highlight this area of my eye so that it makes the shadow stand out even more, okay? So I'm gonna use my little beauty blender sponge to do that. And then I'm gonna come back with that brush and touch it up to make sure the concealer didn't take anything off. Concealer on the mouth, under the cheekbone here, so that when we contour, it stands out more. Now I'm gonna take my Prepping Prime Pen by MAC, and this is in Radiant Rose. I'm gonna highlight my nose, my forehead, and a bit under the eye. And again, Beauty Blender. So now I'm gonna take Translucent Powder, and this is by Criolan as well. Forehead, and then I'm gonna set the whole face with it. And now I'm gonna start contouring the nose, cheekbones, and chin. And I'm gonna use this contour palette by Lorac, which comes with three contouring shades and the highlighters. So I'm gonna take this brush by Sigma and that light contour color, I'm gonna start with the nose. And since it's Halloween, we can really make the contour dramatic. So now I come back and highlight a bit again. And then after contouring the nose, I'm gonna finish it off by highlighting the bridge of it with a powder highlighter. And now let's contour this face. I'm gonna take a medium tapered brush and start contouring the cheekbones. And then chin. I'm making this really dark, okay guys, so that it looks very dramatic. And now a more dense contour brush. And then blend it all. And now on the cheeks, I'm gonna apply this really colorful blush by Urban Decay, it's bittersweet. And again, with a tapered brush. And I'm going to highlight my face with Albatross by NARS. And now for the lips, I'm gonna use a very unique color. I thought of creating this look with you no know, gray shades and a touch of blue, colors that would really go with the white wig. This color is very unique and it's gonna look gorgeous with the whole outfit. It's by Gerard Cosmetics, it's called Invasion. And it's matte finish. Isn't it gorgeous? When it dries up, it becomes a bit darker. And now to finalize the look with a white pencil again, I'm gonna create signs of storm. And I'm not the greatest artist, but just trace like crooked lines. So now I'm gonna change, put my wig on, and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. So I put my wig on. I got this like at a Halloween store. It was very cheap. So you basically, you know, just need the wig and a black dress or a black jumpsuit and you're ready for Halloween. So I really hope you guys like this tutorial and let me know what are you gonna be for Halloween. I would love to know. So before we go, I wanna teach you a Portuguese word. Today I'm gonna teach you how to say wig because I'm wearing a wig. So in Portuguese you say Peruca. Repeat with me, peruca. Really hope you liked the video. Please leave me your comments down below. Rate the video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween! Bye!